Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm your host Alika. I'd like to invite you all to welcome back our Ethiopia Worka. This is an Ethiopian coffee that we've carried for the past several years. Uh, its flavor profile tends to stay pretty standard, like a really traditional Ethiopian coffee. Uh, I'm excited today to help share a Japanese flash brew coffee. This is gonna be a cold brew that we brew hot. Anytime I find a coffee that has flavor notes of tea and some kind of citrus note, in this case we have Earl Grey tea and lemon, I get really excited to make a flash brew of this because it's going to taste like a sweet, fruity tea. Our recipe for this flash brew coffee is gonna be a derivative of our standard Cafe Kalita recipe. We're gonna need a Kalita, we're gonna need ice, your coffee, and if you wanna be really great, you're gonna find yourself a cocktail shaker. Our recipe for this flash brew coffee is gonna be our standard 25 grams of coffee, but instead of 400 grams of water, I'm using only 250 grams. That extra 150 is instead gonna be ice and dilution. First thing I'm going to do is preheat. Be sure not to preheat in your decanter because we're trying to get things cold. Pre-wet that filter. In your decanter now, we're gonna add 100 grams of ice. your Kalita is done dripping, you can reapply it and add your 25 grams of coffee. Tear your scale, reset your timer, and we're ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is bloom. I'm gonna bloom a little bit larger than normal. I'm gonna brew 60 grams of water just to make sure everything is fully saturated. And I'm gonna let this rest for 45 seconds. This longer bloom on a Kalita is gonna let us prepare this coffee for extraction so that we can extract a little bit faster. Since we're using less water, I need to extract a little bit more during this phase. You can grind your coffee like you would normally for a Kalita. But for these iced coffees, I like to grind a little bit finer, again, so that I can extract a little bit more in the same amount of time. At 45 seconds, I'm gonna pour to 170. This flash brew is gonna give me more acidity and more body. At a minute 20, I'm gonna finish this off to 250. While that drains, we can prep our cup and our shaker. I'm gonna add fresh ice to my glass. This is going to halt dilution so that we don't get a watery coffee. And then I'm going to add fresh ice to my shaker. recipe should drain in about two and a half minutes. That's pretty general across the board for this recipe for any flash brewed coffees. Let it drain through.
I like to strain out the ice from the decanter because it's already been melted and small before adding it to the shaker. Because again, then it, now it's going to chill and dilute less. Check until you get a nice chill on the filter. Shaking of flash brew is really nice. There's oils that you get in here. They're going to give you a nice foam and make this cold brew really aromatic. Strain over fresh ice. Serve and enjoy.